the moon, Earth's constant companion, the two planets' fates are inextricably interwoven, but are they necessarily partners? What secrets does one keep from the other? Only time can reveal the answers. everyone. I hope you've enjoyed your flight from Earth. Yeah, it was great! Good, well I'm glad you enjoyed it. We will be arriving at Luna City in the third quarter of the Luna afternoon, which is right on schedule. Thank you for flying with Planet Tours. Will the moon tolerate this invasion by its neighbors, or will it seek to extract some terrible revenge? Hey, we're supposed to be tourists on this trip, so start acting like one. Yes, we all have our secrets. Will anyone be able to guess ours? And will we be able to guess the moon's? Yoshiyuki, you're here at last. Yes, I'm here. Perhaps if I find the answers I'm looking for, we might meet again. Hey, yayoi. Ladies and gentlemen, Constan's Luna Development Corporation welcomes you to the surface of the planet which now has a breathable atmosphere. Look! Look at that crater! I've never seen anything so big! It's really amazing! The atmosphere is generated by a carboxy plant of Constan's own design. We hope this new development will enhance the enjoyment of your stay. Thank you for coming. We at the Constance Corporation are looking into every possible form of commercial development. We're currently expanding Luna tourism, and our mining interests continue to do well. Yes, but do you plan to exploit the moon's military potential? You already know the answer to that question. Constance was the first signatory of the 14 Corporation Treaty on the Demilitarization of Space. The treaty prohibits all military activity outside the Earth's atmosphere. Yes, of course. I shouldn't have asked you that. It's so old! I can't believe it! 
can't believe something as basic as that could ever get to the moon. Oh, yes, dear. When I was a little girl, the Saturn V was the only thing that could get here. Wow, technology has really improved since then. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the first Apollo rocket which brought men to the moon. Wow. So cool. How wonderful to see it. You know, it all seems so very long ago now. As you can see, our corporation operates a policy of total openness. Anyone can come to our offices, as indeed you've done yourself, and have a look at our operations here. We've nothing to hide. Now allow me to show you our central systems room. From here, we control every aspect of life on the lunar surface, right down to the climate and weather. Do you mind if I take photographs? No, please, go right ahead. What the hell? Now what's happening? Fire, sir. Fire? Where? Museum Square, sir. On the first floor. The sprinkler system is cut in. The fire seems to be dying down already. Excellent. But how could it have started? I don't know, sir. And the visitors? They've been evacuated to Area 5. They'll be quite safe. I still don't understand it. There's nothing in Museum Square that could start a fire. I want you to get the health and safety inspectors in there to find the cause. Yes, sir. I'll call them. And I remember Clinton. I'm 87, you know. Really? How fascinating. Now, if you could just cast your mind back five minutes to the fire. You can't trust these things, I tell you. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, we will now open the Earth Observation Dome. Sit back and enjoy the view. This is the Earth as you've never seen her before. Go ahead, caller. Hi, Kay. It's me, Yoshiyuki. So, how are you getting on? Not so bad. The manslave still needs some work, but it's okay. Oh, by the way, it's going to rain through the sixth to eighth quarter to adjust humidity. Right. Well, I should be back before the end of the fifth. Thank you, caller. Are you? These are the sands of time. Each grain represents an age. And it's been a long time. Oh. I've been waiting all this time. But at last you have come and found me. You remembered what I once told you, didn't you? That I'd wait for you here, on the moon. Yeah, enough of this rubbish! Tell me who you are, or I'll... Is everything all right, miss? Is this man bothering you? No, it was nothing. Look. I'm sorry. I... I apologize. So, how's the sleeper doing? Have you got any news? No. Sorry, sir. We haven't been able to make any sense of the sleeper's data. So, you don't know what it is? No, sir. Not yet. It's crucial you do. If we don't suppress the sleeper's activity, the outlook is bleak. 
Well, sir, we are having some success containing the sleeper with a magnetic shield. However, the sleeper's output is continually increasing all the time. How much longer will the shield hold? Well, I don't know for sure, but at a guess I'd say maybe a week. In that case, you better pull your finger out double quick and get some answers as to what that thing's up to. But, sir, it may... Hurry up, damn it! She can't be Yayoi. Yayoi died over five years ago. Is your name Yayoi? Answer me! No, you are mistaken. I'm. My name's not Yayoi, it's Inez. Inez? <laughs> Look, I... Get away from uh. her! <laughs> you're under arrest. Now tell us who you are and what you're doing here. Don't fuck us around. Come on, mister, let's see some ID. Uh. Whoa. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah. Missing at a time like this. I am dead, but I am Legion, and I live on. <laughs> Have you found him yet? No, not a sign. What about you? Okay, well, I'll keep looking around here for a bit longer. Bye. You'll have to leave now, sir. I am closing the station. All right. Well, uh, I'll be off then. Who's that? See if he's over there. Hmm, poison tip darts. If one of those breaks the skin anywhere on the body, your time's up. But why did they want to kill her? She's so like Yayoi. Please don't die, Yayoi. Please, Yayoi. Yoshi Oki. I'll be waiting for you on the moon. I'll see you there. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. You must destroy me. You 
are the Chosen One. You must come with me. What do you mean? Who are you? I am Innes, but I am Legion. Only when the Dark Legion is dead will mankind be safe. Now we have to hurry. We don't have much time. Only you are capable of killing darkness. Ah! Oh! No! Not again! What's the matter? Please help me, Yoshiyuki. I need you. Help me. No, I won't listen to you. You're evil. I cannot allow you to harm mankind. They're our friends. Hey, are you okay? Tell me, Yayoi, why did you have to leave me? You'll see. Why can't you tell me now? In time, you will understand. I had to return to the moon. It was the only way I could bring you here. Yes, but why? The moon has two faces. Mankind has only ever seen the bright side shining down upon them. But there is a dark side, and you must come face to face with it. The dark side of the moon. Well, look who's here. Yeah, sorry. <sighs> How dare you go wandering off? We've got a job to do here, you know. All right, now let's get on with the briefing. Our clients want us to investigate the Luna activities of the Constance Corporation. In recent months, there have been unusually high levels of electromagnetic activity on the moon, and our clients suspect Constance may be in the process of developing some kind of new weapon. Our job is to infiltrate their development center and find out if there is a new weapon, and if so, what the hell it is. We'll pose as a haulage company making a delivery. I've specially adapted the truck to carry the manslave. Once we're through the perimeter cordon, we'll release you in the manslave to go and snatch the data from their military R&D department. That's the red point on the map. Will the manslave be ready in time? Yes, I think so. I've only got a few minor adjustments left to do. Okay. Right. The Bounty Dog Investigation Unit will commence this mission at the zero second of the first quarter. Good luck. Clear to go. Thanks. I'll see you around. See you on the way back. I taped a security patrol yesterday. I think you should see it. It's Inez. Sorry, I put the wrong tape in the machine. Kay, when did you see her? A couple of quarters ago. She was just standing there like a scarecrow. Two quarters ago? Huh? Yoshiyuki, don't even think about going off on your own again. Our ETA is now 17 minutes. Yoshiyuki, I'll cut off your monitor link in five minutes. Stand by, okay? Roger. Yayoi, help me do this today. <sighs> Did you see that girl? What girl?
patrol. We apprehended the girl, but someone's taken What? Her. Who? I don't know, sir. He's moving towards point D41. Request reinforcements. Yashiyuki, I've got something to tell you. Save it for later. I'm gonna have my hands full getting us out of here. And this time, I'm gonna get us out in one piece. I swear it. He's blown our cover for sure. Look, he's coming back now. What'll we do now? We'll have to abort the mission. This place will be crawling with creeps in a minute. Yoshiyuki's been acting weird from the start of this mission. My responsibility for bringing him. Yoshiyuki, I'm aborting the mission. To get out, we'll have to punch our way through the roadblocks. You take up the back position. Don't try to pass them until we hit them. If we get out of this in one piece, I'm gonna download him a lot of shit. Yashiyuki, when you get to the roadblock, give the manslave the beans, okay? Okay, got it. You in the truck and you in the manslave. Pull over at once. You're both under arrest. Do it now. Pull over or we'll open fire. Target approaching. Prepare to open fire. Here we go. Okay, let's move it. We made it! Ines, are you okay? Target 1 managed to break through our first roadblock. It's heading for the residential quarters. Roger, understood. I'll dispatch the Hostello unit. Now, now hear this. this. Target, Target one, 1 contains, contains the female, female intruder and is your priority. priority. Target, Target 2 is second, second priority. priority. On no, no account are either, either to be destroyed. To be destroyed. Sir, capture of the occupants is now imminent. Excellent. Now, what is the situation with Target 1? Target, Target 1 had attempted to escape down, down the monorail track. It's moving, it's moving towards, towards the residential, residential block. All units move to intercept. Roger. Target 1 has now entered the residential area. Call up reinforcements. It mustn't escape. Units 9, 9 and 11 lock off its escape route at access points 3 and 4. All civilian traffic is requested to pull over and stop immediately. Constant's military personnel are in pursuit of a terrorist. Wow, check that out. Yeah, the military is being called onto the streets. Stop immediately. Turn your ignition off and wait the all clear. All civilian traffic is to pull in and stop immediately. Constant's are you alright? Yashiyuki. Try not to move. It's my other self. She's awakening. Uh, she's going to take me back soon. Uh, <gasps> Yashiyuki, you must go to Gallius and kill her. If you don't, she will try to destroy the Earth. She is the dark side of the moon. Only you can kill her. You mustn't leave it until she wakes up. If you do, you won't stand a chance against her. Listen, Ines, I don't understand. Huh? You up there! We have you surrounded. Resistance is futile. We already have your accomplices in custody. Do as we say and they won't be harmed. 
So they've got the others. Yoshiyuki. What is it? I want you to promise me something. Promise me that you'll go to Gallius. I promise you I'll go. <laughs> Oh, God, no! They're not responding to the warning shot, sir. All right, we'll have to take them by force. Unit commanders, I want you to seal the area and then we'll close the net on them. They must not be allowed to escape. Yes, yes sir. sir. Try to take them alive, but kill them if you have to. Attention, Target One is moving. trying to escape. Shall we open fire? No. They're not going to get away now. Only fire if they start shooting. Oh, God damn it! The winch is jammed! Sir, the sleeper is beginning to show signs that it's regaining consciousness. It's doing what? Well, sir, it's just released an enormous burst of energy. As you know, we've been monitoring its emissions for some time, and they've gradually been getting stronger. But this last one was way more powerful than anything that's gone before. Well, if it wakes up, what's it going to do? We've no way of telling. It's an alien life form. How it thinks, what it wants, we've no way of predicting. Is there anything we can do to control it? No, sir, we've tried everything. Once the sleeper wakes, we'd be at its mercy. <laughs> 